election day draws near, we've learned Warren Evans will stay on the ballot. Judge Chief Robert Colombo Jr. just made a big decision in the controversy over Evans' eligibility. 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe is in the newsroom right now. Nima, did the judge address both lawsuits that Evans is facing? Joanne, good question. No, he only addressed one, and that was the lawsuit that was brought on by Thomas Yak Jr., the former Canton Township supervisor. In fact, inside his courtroom on the seventh floor, you can see in this video the judge addressing the courtroom, talking to the courtroom about the laws on residency as it pertains to voting and being a candidate, then proceeded to dismiss the case against Wayne County Executive Candidate. Warren Evans. Evans was not present at the time the judge made his ruling, but take a look here. You can see there State Representative Phil Cavanaugh was more on his suit in just a minute. Outside the courtroom, though, we caught up with attorneys representing both Evans and the man who brought the suit against him, Thomas Yak. Evans' attorneys calling this both a happy day and a frustrating one. As the judge pointed out, the, there was no law. The, the uh, case was brought way too late. And quite honestly, it's, it's sad that we have to go through these kinds of events. The reality is that he just moved in, literally the day before the filing deadline. And it's our position is that that clearly isn't a representative of Wayne County. That's what Mr. Yak felt, and Mr. Yak firmly believed that we need somebody who really is a county representative and not somebody who, for lack of a better term, is a carpetbagger. Talked with uh, Representative Phil, Canada, uh, Phil Cavanaugh as I left the Q Coleman Young Municipal Center, and he says that he's continuing with his suit. That hearing is set for Monday afternoon. We'll continue to keep you updated on that. And he has a press conference being held later today to talk more about the suit he brought on against Evans, as well as his campaign as it stands right now. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated on that as well. Live in the newsroom this midday, I'm Nima Shafe, Seven Action News. Enjoy. All right, Nima, thanks so much for the live report.